actually, I got along real good with Yoko, and uh, we had some good matches. I was the only guy ever to knock him off his feet. But the deal was, uh, he'd do that bonsai drop. But the the one time, well, he did it to me a few times over the over the career. But the one he hurt me was Mr. Fuji put the uh, flag over me, the Japanese flag, and uh, Yoko missed and, and cracked two of my ribs. Oh, so that was the legitimate there when you yeah, that was a, you know a, you know that's the old joke. People say I saw you throw a punch, you missed a guy by that much. I said, yeah, did you see when I hit him by that much though, and uh, Yoko just missed. It wasn't intentional, wasn't malicious. It was just a. You never really sense. had a, a huge payoff match after that. Do you think they could have done more with the feud when you came back? Yeah, I think so. But I think after the arrest with the Sheik, they never really gave me the the, the big big push. But it. You know, it, like I said, it's been a good business for me. The guys that come in, they start buying Mercedes Benz and Rolex watches and diamond earrings and all that stuff. You know, I, I save my money. I, I drive a Ford. You know, I don't wear a Rolex. I put two daughters through school. You know, it's uh, it's uh, what you do personally. You got to take personal responsibility.